Thanks, Hattie. The Wisconsin Badgers are going dancing for the 18th year in a row. The team knew they were going to be selected for the NCAA tournament. It was just a matter of finding out where they would be playing and who that opponent would be. Wisconsin will be the seventh seed in the East. They'll play 10th seeded Pittsburgh on Friday at 550 in St. Louis, and that game's gonna air on TNT. Nigel Hayes is confident of the Badgers' will to win, and head coach Greg Gard is quite proud of the adversity his guys have overcome. I don't know if there's another team in this field of the 68 that's had a more turbulent ride since we had a very turbulent ride back from Indianapolis on Friday. Uh, it was a little rocky of a plane ride. You know, this, this group has overcome a lot and uh, very proud of them and excited to keep on playing. In my opinion, when you get to the tournament, it doesn't really matter what you do. There's no, you know, we're not going to add any plays or we're not going to try any new schemes. It's just a matter of the will and want by the players. I mean, when it gets boiled down to it, that's why you have those upsets that you have because the, the, the lower seed usually just goes out and wants the win more. The first four games tip off starting tomorrow and Wednesday and Wisconsin's road to the final four will be tough this year. Here with a look ahead is ESPN Madison's Jim Rutledge. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. All right, so Badgers, they seventh seed. They're playing 10th seed Pittsburgh. What are your predictions for these two teams here? This is a tough one for the Badgers. I mean, and this is what happens when you kind of close out tough with Purdue and then Nebraska. Both losses, Wisconsin didn't finish as strong as they wanted to, so now they don't get the seeding that maybe it would have helped them get to the Sweet 16 a little bit easier. Pittsburgh's a team that's beaten Duke this year. They're in the ACC. They're a tough team. They're well coached by Jamie, with Jamie Dixon, a guy who's been in great guard shoes maybe 10 years ago. So they're an up-and-down team. It's a tough matchup for the Badgers. I've seen some teams have Pittsburgh in the Elite Eight. Some teams have Wisconsin. Whoever wins this has a nice opportunity to go forward, but this first game for the Badgers is tough. So the Badgers, had, had they've had quite the year. Um, it didn't look like they were going to be finishing the year as they did, but they, but they did. They seem rather hungry for it at this time. Do you think that, as the coach was saying earlier about, you know, it's been kind of a turbulent year for them, you know, they've overcome so much adversity. Do you think that it's going to, that's going to be the extra push to get them to possibly beat Pittsburgh? That's the optimistic view on it, and there's a real, uh, you know, aspect of that because they did overcome a lot this year. But... You know, they also could be mentally tired. They did look flat against Nebraska. Maybe they used up all their energy to get here. I do think they'll come out with the right energy, and I do think they'll come out to play. Coach Greg Gard has shown that he is the type of guy that can get this team motivated and back mm -hmm. on track. But there's probably a slight concern amongst fans, not the players or the coaches, that maybe all this uh, turmoil and all this controversy and all these different things they had to go through this year may have worn them out. Okay, so we're going to stay um, positive here. So the Badgers win. Yeah. All right, so they're going to be facing either Xavier or Weber. What will that matchup look like? Again, uh, both those, Xavier's a really good basketball team. Wisconsin's capable, I think, of getting back to the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, if not farther, as long as they follow Greg Gard's coaching plan, they run the swing offense, they come out with high energy because the games that they've lost a lot of times, it just comes, they come out flat. They come out and they execute. I think they'll be fine. They have star players in Bronson Kanick, Nigel Hayes, who have been there before. They have some youngsters who can, you know, kind of work through the ups and downs, and they have the ability to hit outside shots. So the optimistic view is this team is fully capable of at least getting to the Elite Eight, maybe the Final Four with a few breaks. Jim, were you surprised yesterday by any of the seed placements? Uh, not really. I mean, I mean, there's always teams that are left out on the bubble that maybe shouldn't have been in, or, you know, maybe you should have been a six or a seven. But uh, if you look at it like this, every team, you are where you are because of the entire season. Wisconsin had a tough schedule. They lost some really bad games. They won some good games. So looking at Wisconsin specifically, that one looked fair, and I think the rest of them looked pretty, pretty close to fair. Okay, so from the four one seeds, yeah. who do you think is going to make it? Or maybe none at all. Uh, let's see here. I had North Carolina going. I, I like Virginia. A lot of people mm -hmm. like Michigan State. Uh, you know, according to the ESPN.com stats already, 55% of people are pitching, uh, picking Michigan State, which is a oh. two seed to get by Virginia. Okay. I like Kansas as well. Uh, the one I don't like is Oregon. Nobody oh. likes Oregon, apparently. <laughs> so that one is really low on the number one seeds getting into the Final Four. Already the numbers are, are pretty low as far as people picking Oregon to get to the Final oh, Four. Wow. So this is the time that begins for you where you don't sleep at all for a few days. Fun times. Okay. All right. Jim Rutledge from ESPN Madison, thank you so very much. Thanks for having me.